Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun, opening at about one third of the Earth's distance and with a year lasting just 88 days. It's the smallest of the four inner planets, slightly larger than our Moon, and the smallest of the eight planets overall. Mercury's proximity to the Sun means that it can only be seen with the naked eye for short periods before sunrise or after sunset, and only in a twilight sky. Occasionally, Mercury passes between the Earth and the Sun, a rare event called a transit. The solar system's smallest planet is dwarfed by the immensity of the star it orbits. Astronomers in the 19th and 20th centuries attempted to map Mercury, but the first clear views of the surface weren't obtained until the 1970s. NASA's Mariner 10 spacecraft made three flybys and imaged less than half the planet. Mariner found a weak magnetic field, indicating a large iron core, and a slow rotation in which Mercury spins on its axis three times for every two journeys around the Sun. Mariner images showed Mercury to be a barren, cratered planet. Mariner revealed rough and cratered terrain mixed with smooth plains. Wrinkle ridges across the globe suggested Mercury had cooled, contracted and cracked since its formation. A huge feature, the Caloris Basin, testified to a violent early history. On the opposite side of the planet, the shock waves from the Caloris impact converged, giving rise to a weird hilly terrain. With virtually no atmosphere to regulate the surface temperature, in daylight it's hot enough to melt lead, and when the sun goes down, it's colder than the coldest Antarctic night. Radar observations from Earth revealed highly reflective regions, possibly indicative of water ice in the permanently shadowed craters near the poles of Mercury. Perhaps these icy deposits were delivered by comet impacts over periods of billions of years. NASA returned to Mercury more than three decades after Mariner with a spacecraft called Messenger. Following a series of flybys of Earth, Venus and Mercury, in 2011 Messenger became the first spacecraft to orbit Mercury and has since mapped the planet in unprecedented detail. Images and data returned by the Messenger spacecraft has shown Mercury's long history to have been shaped by impacts and volcanism. It has borne witness to the complex interaction between the solar wind and the planet's complex magnetic field. Studying Mercury tells us about the history of the inner solar system and about the processes which shaped our own planet Earth. For now, there is still much to learn from the innermost planet of the solar system.